Hello there, and welcome to Wix Way. And today, we are in an optical illusion. Say hello to the 2014 BMW M6 Grand Coupe. And what I mean by it being an optical illusion is the fact that this car looks so heavy and so massive but it feels tighter than an LS swapped Miata on coilovers. Oh my baby Jesus, look at this thing go. Well, numbers, 575 brake horsepower from a 4.4 liter V8 twin turbo. And backing that up is a seven speed dual clutch transmission that shifts absolutely flawlessly from these wonderful paddle shifters. And before I get into the performance side of this car, which is extremely apparent from every single angle, I'll talk about the interior and a little bit on the exterior. The interior is packed full of carbon fiber everywhere. The center console, the doors, uh, even the roof on the other side of this gorgeous black headliner is a carbon fiber roof. And these seats have so many different options as far as what powers it, the bolstering, the shoulders, of course the headrest, uh, the thigh support, the bolsters on the bottom of the chair. It's, it's, it's just hilarious. It still has the classic BMW though. The gauges are still like a classic BMW at night. All the lights are like this glowing amber orange type, just pure BMW color. Reminds me of being a kid. My uncle used to have a 750 V12 back in the late 90s and I loved that car so much. And even though the roof is pretty slanted to give the coupe effect, I'm six foot and I still have plenty of headroom. I'm sure if someone was five foot 19, they would still fit in here just fine. But the best part of this interior is what's actually gonna help us transition to the performance side is the heads up display. BMW gets it right every single time with their heads up display. It's bright, it's colorful, I can't even see it because I have polarized sunglasses on, but I know it's there. And you have the option between just a normal one that shows you the speed limit and the other one, which is the M heads up display. And it shows you the RPMs and the speed you're going, what gear you're in, everything that you need to know without having to take your eyes off where you're going. But I am really glad that BMW does that in, in such a way because taking your eyes off the road, it, the speeds this thing can do is for a second, a blink of an eye, it could be catastrophic. And what I mean by the speed, I mean it's it's really quick. And of course the same as always with the M cars that BMW has, you have different settings. For throttle response and engine performance, you have either efficient, sport, sport plus, for the suspension, comfort, sport, sport plus, and steering, comfort, sport, sport plus. And when you put all three settings in sport plus, this turns in from a Grand Tour to a Grand Prix. <laughs> this is amazing. Launch control on the BMW M6 Grand Coupe is, uh, well, to be frank with you, it's kind of a pain in the ass. And Miles here, hello Miles. Hi. Miles has been with us for almost every car we've done launch control in. So he's pretty seasoned, and uh, we're just gonna record his reaction to this. So, what does this say? Deactivate, dynamic stability control, hold SMG lever forward, and hold it and press the throttle all the way. Car will move until the SMG lever is released. Hold that, thank you. Sideways. That was so sideways. Jesus Christ. That was ridiculous. I tried again. <laughs> I'm surprised we got that first go, dude. Remember how to do it? I believe so. And. I had to let off just so it could hook. I don't understand. So how is that compared to the GTR? 
right? Yeah. It's a different. I, uh, what yeah. Are what were you saying? I mean, it's just. <laughs> Go and get back to it. Thank you, Miles, for coming along for that. I'm You're welcome. I, I mean, I know it took time out of your day to have to <laughs> come and do launch control on a BMW M6. Yes, yeah, super yeah. busy schedule. I know. I'm telling you. I've driven M5s, M3s. M235i's and this is amazing as far as the new generation with this 4.4 liter V8 twin turbo in the M5 it's it's a little bit different I would still take the V10 but in this I would completely choose this one this engine for this car they tune it differently from the BMW M5 to the M6 especially with this one have the competition package boosting it from 560 brake horsepower to 575. And it is working flawlessly. There's one specific distinction with this car among its competitors, the CLS 63 and the Audi RS7, is that this one is so gradual with this top speed in a straight line. And when I say gradual, I don't mean like, uh, oh, there we go. I mean like, it's just staring at you the whole time just fine and dandy and you're getting awkward you're like what what's going on and then you look down and you're going in triple digits and you look back at the car and it just smiles at you I I really am just infatuated with this this machine I I have driven so many cars and each one of them at the end of the day when I return it so this is all including RS7 at the end of the day when I return it or after a few days I'm okay with that like I you know it was fun it's great you know here you go but this one, I do not feel that way. I want more of this. I really, really do. So pros and cons on the 2014 BMW M6 Grand Coupe. Uh, pro, everything. Every single thing about this car is amazing. Con, it's not mine. Another pro is it's for sale at Empire Exotics. Well guys, that's the end of our 2014 BMW M6 Grand Coupe review, courtesy of Empire Exotics in Dallas. A wonderful dealership because they let me take cars like this out consistently and they're wonderful for it. Thanks guys. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, all the usual things we ask you to do. Follow us on Drive Tribe, like us on Facebook, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> Thanks guys.